Hello, Miami. This is 305 Sports Now, your home podcast and channel for all things Miami sports related. I am Will. I know some of you guys are probably wondering out there, you know, in the in the YouTube world and in, in my subscribership world, like he has Miami Heat, you know, background back there, but he's wearing a he's wearing UM par- uh, paraphernalia, which usually, you know, I go with the theme of whatever team I'm covering. But I just want to say I'm kind of sort of on remote location, all right, somewhere else. Uh, but Miami is playing Duke tonight uh, for the semifinals of the ACC tournament. So, therefore, I'm still representing UM gear, all right? And I will be giving you a YouTube short uh, after that game, right? It's a 7 o'clock game, and let's go, let's go Canes, okay, of course. Uh, but today's segment is on the Miami Heat, okay? I wanted to have a discussion uh, about, you know, the, the ascension, okay, uh, at least uh, after the All-Star break of Caleb Martin. Caleb Martin earlier on in the year was a, a, a starter for the Miami Heat, but after the acquisition of Kevin Love and Cody Zeller, Martin has been coming off the bench. But the thing is that Caleb Martin is not just coming off the bench. He's also a closer, right? He has played almost every single minute and second, with the exception of maybe two or three, since, uh, since returning uh, from the All-Star break. The Miami Heat have struggled quite a bit, you know, uh, since coming back, okay, you know, losing the teams like the Bucks, okay, in, in very horrible fashion, uh, a heartbreaker against the New York Knicks, losing the other night, you know, to the Cleveland Cavaliers in particular. But Caleb Martin has not been the answer, okay? His defense, his athleticism has been flat out unbelievable. He is usually on every single team's best man, or or does come off a uh, come off his rotation in particular. Like I said, he's a very good bright spot on defense as well. Ask Trey Young. Yeah, he ate Trey Young fits uh, the other the other night. He's averaging 11 points per game, you know, since that since that stretch uh, after the All Star break. Um, but he does. But he's also he will hit the occasional three as well. He has a huge motor with has a lot of energy, uh, which speaks about his conditioning and the conditioning the Miami Heat you know provide for their players as team goes. And I think that that says a lot about you know Pat Riley. You know, Mickey Harrison and, of course, Eric Spolstra is uh, um, managing of the organization, you know, as well. Um, his defense is very essential. Even though he's not shooting at the 50% clip he was last season from the on the arc, we all know that when the playoffs come around, all right, um, playing defense is very, very, very essential. And he's literally, you know, because of his length and so on, he's a, he's a matchup problem even for any team's best star, right? Yes, I am saying that. He is a matchup nightmare for any team's best star just because he's quick. Uh, his, uh, his footwork is amazing All right, as well. I'm speaking on defense, okay? His footwork is amazing, and he's highly athletic, and he could get up there, you know, with the best of them, you know, in particular. So that's pretty much what I wanted to say about Caleb Martin. Caleb Martin is one of the most important glue guys that we have on this basketball team, aside, of course, from, you know, Cody Zeller, who just came in, and Kevin Love, who provides something different than what Caleb does. But I do think that the Miami Heat, if um if they when they do make the playoffs if they do make if they do get past you know which looks like it's going to be the play in round a guy like Caleb Martin is going to be very essential for their success moving forward you know if they want to continue you know you know past the first round second round and so on we'll see what happens because right now this is not the same team as last year all right the same uh, the team this team last year was in first place and was pretty um pretty intent on keeping you know home court throughout the whole playoffs this team is going to have to scratch and climb to make sure that they get to where they want to be like they were last year. Um, but it's guys like Kayla Martin, they're going to, they're going to get the Miami heat there. Okay. Um, that's pretty much what I want to talk about. And like, like you guys know me, I'm very straight to the point. You know, I don't beat around the bush, but I do think that I'm very happy to see, even though the heat have struggled. Okay. And have lost heartbreakers. The heat are often very competitive in these basketball games. All right. With the exception of a couple, but very competitive in these basketball games. And Caleb Martin, Jimmy Butler, you know, um, are very, very, very instrumental in having that happen. Of course, Bam and Abayo as well are very instrumental in making that happen, okay? Uh, tonight, like I said, after the Miami Hurricanes versus Duke, all right, the much-hated Duke Blue Devils, I will be giving you a YouTube short, you know, basically going over the game a little bit. And tomorrow, uh, tomorrow, um, more on the heat. I heard a fantastic debate between Alejandro Solana, who's a friend of the show, all right, and, um, and Mark Hawkman, in which they basically battled in, in terms of should Duncan, Robin, Duncan Robinson get more minutes uh, coming off the bench. All right, I will give you my take on, on both what Mark Hawkman had to say and what also Alejandro Solana had to say. I'll give you my perspective as well. 
and what I think of that situation. So tune in for that tomorrow, right? That will be coming uh, tomorrow over here in 305 Sports Now on YouTube. All right, ladies and gents, that's it for me. If you like what you heard, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to 305 Sports Now. Once again, I am Will. Stay safe. God bless. See you soon.